Head for Juched Single Ward, E. Jen Jong, says it's okay to start from a blank piece of paper, just as entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs do, and even Singapore as a nation did when it became independent. He was responding today to Foreign Minister Giorgio's remark that opposition parties are asking for a blank check and have no concrete plans. Mr. Yi said he has plans for Juched and they don't necessarily involve improving infrastructure. He says he knows that residents would like issues such as flooding and parking and traffic problems to be addressed. But upgrading isn't a big concern because Juched is a largely private estate. So he plans to help those who need help, for instance, by matching needy residents to community service centers and self-help groups. He will also focus on promoting a neighborly, pro-family environment. I never hear of uh, any big issues that, oh, I want to vote for you, but um, I cannot because uh, I'm worried about the upgrading. I mean, I stay here myself, so I wonder if um, PAP is going to upgrade my house. They try to imagine what the people need. They need a new park here, they need this here, they need that here. But I'm not sure if they've seen, for example, the park outside my house. Uh, it's generally used by the maids and some of their foreign boyfriends. Earlier, Mr. Yi had described the ruling party as old horses, but his PAP rival in Juchet, Charles Chong, dismisses that description. Ken Tay spoke to both men during their recent walkabouts. Working the ground in an affluent neighborhood in Juchet, one of the ruling party's strongholds, Mr. Yi Zhenzhong, a new candidate for the Workers' Party, is hoping to unseat the PAP in his own backyard. Anybody can win, and I think I stand a good chance, just as Charles also has a good chance. Each of us have our advantages. He is a, from an incumbent party, but I'm a local boy. I know this whole place very well. But it won't be easy as the PAP has been winning the lion's share of the votes in this area for decades. Still, Mr. Yi believes the opposition would eventually overtake the ruling party. PAP, yes, they are a strong horse in the past. They've been winning elections, right, but horses do weaken. All right, they do run out of strength after a while. But look at the opposition. They are young. They are full of energy. So if you are betting, who will you bet on? A horse that's slowing down or a horse that's charging ahead? Money, money to you. Money to you. Have you been staying here for very long already? The PAP's Charles Chong is also a new candidate in Juchet, having been moved from Pasiris Pongol GRC. At this less affluent area, he met many elderly people who live in these two-room flats, the only HDB units in the ward. Responding to Mr. Yi's comments, Mr. Chang said his team's efforts in the area are proof enough of its vigor. I'm not sure what this definition of an old horse is, okay? But uh, I think uh, both uh, Mr. Chang and I went through all these four blocks, uh, which, which has got no, which have got no lifts, and I think we went on foot. Uh, so uh, I, don't, I don't think we look like like old horses. <laughs> a lack of facilities was a common complaint many residents hoped their MP would solve. Some of the residents here who didn't want to be filmed told Mr. Chong that they had financial difficulties. Others asked if lifts could be built here for the aging residents. And one young single mother said she was very frustrated at not being able to buy an HDB flat here because of age restrictions. Mr. Chong said he would address these problems and look into financial assistance schemes if elected. And he didn't think Aljuna GRC was the only hot seat in Singapore, as described by Minister Mentor Lee. I take it if, uh, if, if, if I have a competition in my uh, constituency, I, I will consider it a hot ward and I will try my best and work very hard, you know, uh, uh, as if it was a hot seat. Eh? The PAP won an almost two-thirds majority here in the last election. <laughs> but it's a victory that Mr. Chong isn't taking for granted. I'll give you my vote. Okay, thanks. Coming up in two minutes, your